You, my friend, are very lucky to have clicked on this video because I have a treat for you today. We are going to learn about conservative country music sensation, Buddy Brown. Now, Buddy Brown wouldn't have even been on my radar had Ben Shapiro's news outlet, The Daily Wire, not run a profile about him. Now, The Daily Wire, for those of you unaware, they do profiles on all of the hottest music sensations in the world of conservative politics. Just like a month or so ago, they ran a profile on conservative rapper Tom McDonald. Yes, a conservative rapper is as cringeworthy in practice as it sounds on paper, uh, but they're going to teach us about Buddy Brown. So they write via Twitter, meet the conservative country singer who turned down woke record labels and is still topping the charts. So I find that really impressive. Not only is he a conservative country singer, but on top of that, he is principled as well, seemingly, right? Because he's turning down woke record labels. Now, I don't know what turning down woke record labels means. Like it implies that he was offered a deal, but the caveat was that if they're going to sign him to this record label, he has to do, to do at least like uh, three songs about feminism and political correctness and be uh, explicitly anti-racist, put pronouns in his Twitter bio. I don't know what turning down a woke record deal means. I don't necessarily think that any of the stipulations with regard to these contracts uh, are even going to reference politics whatsoever. Um, but having said that, though, apparently he turned down a lot of woke record deals. These record labels are trying to uh, approach him. But he's saying, you know what? I have to abide by my own principles and I've got to chart my own path here. So, I mean, kudos to him. So, I wanted to read you the article, but unfortunately, uh, you click on the link and it takes you to the Daily Wire's website where you have to create an account. Now, knowing that all of you won't want to create an account, I took the liberty to create an account so I could read it to you using my fictitious email, of course, futbucker69 at AOL.com. Now, unfortunately for me, once I created this fake account, I was met with a paywall because even if you create a free account, you can't actually read the article. So, the question is, if the Daily Wire wants me to learn about this rising star in conservative country music. I mean, why are you putting it behind a paywall? Let my futbucker69 at AOL.com account suffice and let me just read the fucking article. Usually what uh, news outlets do is they give you like at least five articles to read per month before they force you to create an account and, and pay for articles. But that's neither here nor there. Since we can't learn about Buddy Brown through the Daily Wire, we're going to do our own research and just look at his lyrics. Now, I do have to call into question their reporting because they claim that he's a topping the charts. He's a musician that's like topping the charts constantly. That's the implication. But as one of the first replies points out, that doesn't necessarily seem to be the case. I mean, his song, I Call BS on That, made it to number nine on US Heat and 22 on US Country. So, I mean, that's pretty impressive. His other hit single, Keeping It Country, sounds very original, made it to 49 on US Heat. But I mean, in terms of whether or not he's a chart topping uh, country star, that doesn't necessarily seem to be the case. So upon further review, I did find his YouTube channel and he does have some bangers. Now we can't listen to them on this channel because I'm assuming that there's going to be some sort of a copyright strike. Um, I don't know. But these are the songs that really caught my eye. All my exes change their sexes. Looks like, uh, I mean, a phenomenal song. I'm guessing it's for the clubs. Uh, there's a liberal in my family. I mean, imagine that. The Offended song featuring Cat in the Hat and Mr. Potato Head. I pulled lyrics for this one, so we'll look at that. And also, what I'm guessing is uh, one of the more popular songs, We Gotta Be Less White. So, I mean, needless to say, I am incredibly intrigued. So, uh, we're going to look at some of the lyrics since we can't actually watch the music videos. So, the first song we're going to look at is If This Country Had Balls. Now, you'll all have to help me out in the comments because reading this myself, it seems like he's explicitly calling for vigilante justice and extrajudicial murders in this song. Um, but let's, let's look at it together. So, it's time we go back to hanging them high... He's not talking about his nuts. Let's light the torches in the middle of the night, okay? Somewhere along the way, we've gotten way too soft. We don't need a jury when we've seen what he's done. I kind of feel like if you are an American patriot, as he claims to be, um, you shouldn't be denouncing our judicial system. You should 
ask that it be uh, come a lot more equitable. But I mean, he's just like, look, if we know somebody's guilty, let's just fucking let's kill him. Uh, just build the gallows and wait for the sun. Get the vigilantes loaded up with justice for all. If this country still had balls. Okay, so what I can deduce by these lyrics is that he's kind of a psychopath, but I don't want to judge too much because there are other songs that I want to get to. So the song Be Less White to me is really interesting because he starts off talking about Coca-Cola, which I'm assuming he canceled. So let me get to the lyrics here. Coca-Cola's done lost their dadgum, dag, dadgum, mi- what the f- dadgum minds. Coca-Cola, maybe if I read it in like a country accent, it'll make more sense. Coca-Cola's done lost their dead go minds. It actually, it, it is a little bit easier to uh, say it with an accent. Yeah, the white guilt's hitting pretty hard this time. I thought I'd seen it all, but as it turns out, I have to change my skin to live this one down. So it seems as if he's talking about um, his uh, history of persecution as a straight white male in America. And to this, he has nothing but my um, my sympathy because it must be very difficult to be a very popular, I'm assuming wealthy country musician in America. We got to be less white, be less white because liberals gone wild and they lost their minds. We got to be less white, be less white. Now I'm, <laughs> now I'm switching to Pepsi and it's all all right. <laughs> I mean, the segue there, um, a little bit sharp for my my taste. We got to be less white. We got to be less white. And we've got to switch to Pepsi. What the actual fuck? <laughs> they said to be less white is to be less oppressive. Be less certain and less defensive. Be less arrogant. Try to actually listen. Well, Coke ain't getting served in my kitchen. <laughs> I'm not I'm not getting the controversy with Coke versus Pepsi. I mean, maybe he's just a really big Pepsi fan. I don't get how he like is trying to shoehorn in this criticism of Coca-Cola while simultaneously complaining about how difficult it is to be white. I'm not like, there's a disconnect for me and it doesn't make sense to me. It seems incoherent. Uh, But I mean, the overall takeaway seemingly is that it's really hard for him to be white. And something that Coca-Cola did proves that um, they lost their dadgum minds. Okay, one more song. This is the Offended song. Uh, for whatever reason, this song title breaks my brain. He should have just called it Offended and not The Offended Song because it's, like, grammatically, it, it is weird. But anyways, how dare Tom Brady win a Super Bowl with the Bucks right in the middle of Black History Month? Was anybody actually mad at that? How how children's books not have diverse cartoons because everything is canceled, including Dr. Seuss. Oh, he, somebody's been watching Fox News. Um, dumb fuck. I don't know if you got the memo, but Fox News was canceled by none other than, or excuse me, Dr. Seuss was canceled by none other than Dr. Seuss. They literally made the decision on their own volition to pull some books that they thought had insensitive and racist imagery. Nobody like told them, hey, these books are raci- racist. You should take them down. They chose to do that by themselves so like in five years if you see this song uh the the be less white song and you think maybe that was a little bit cringeworthy i should take it down is that you getting canceled no it's just you being introspective and trying to grow assuming you ever want to grow i hope so but i mean uh, who knows common sense equals facebook jail i'm assuming he was banned from facebook um okay i mean all right um more context is needed there they're all offended because they're crazy as hell. It sounds... Okay, so all the virtue signaling about cancel culture, he tries to give you this impression that like everyone around him is super offended, but really, he seems like the snowflake. Like He seems like the whiny little bitch who won't shut the fuck up about how mean everyone is to him. Like You seem to be the one that's really hypersensitive, my dude. Have some self-awareness. Holy fuck. Okay, this is the chorus. Yeah, this is the chorus. Okay, I work hard... They're offended. That is offensive to me, actually. Raise my kids. They're offended. Don't you fucking dare raise your kids, you fucker. (laughs) Drive a big old truck. (laughs) 
because I work with my hands, go to church, they're offended. Raise a flag, oh, so offended. Oh, I hate it, guys, when they, <laughs> when they raise a flag. Sing the national anthem as loud as I can. Oh, don't do that. That's, that's really going to offend me. Stand for God, country, family, and beer. Yes, one of the main core values of America, beer. Uh, it's a full-time job staying normal as hell out here. How dare Mr. Mr. Potato Head say he's a man? Okay, so he's bringing in like this culture war that is being uh, astroturfed by Fox News and the right. Uh, how dare you start a business, make money, and a plan? You know, is anyone else a little bit irritated by how people are so offended by people starting businesses? I mean, how fucking dare you start businesses, America? So bad. How dare the earth be round? How dare the sky be blue? I'm sorry, but you don't get to, um, you know, invoke crazy people who are conspiracy theorists when it, when it's your side who are overwhelmingly super conspiratorial. I'm guessing this dude is an anti-vaxxer, so don't talk about like how flat earthers are crazy when you're probably like as equally idiotic. How dare you not be woke enough to bitch about it too? I work hard. They're offended. Okay, we're back to the chorus. I'm going to read the chorus again because I think it actually is uh, very poignant. Raise my kids. They're offended. Again, don't you fucking dare raise your kids, buddy. How dare you Listen, buddy, buddy, zoom in on me a little bit, buddy, you raising your kids offends me. Mega cringe. <laughs> Drive a big old truck because I work with my hands. Do you though? Because you like you're a YouTuber. This dude has more subscribers than I do. So I'm assuming that like you're not going to your nine to five anymore. So I don't think you you work with your hands. If you do, then then great. Uh, go to church, they're offended. Raise a flag, so offended. Absolutely. Okay, so this is the very last line in that song. If you don't want to tear every statue down and sing Kumbaya till we all pass out. Okay, so that's it. Um, we're not going to look at any other songs. Basically, this is the country version of Tom McDonald but somehow even more cringeworthy than Tom McDonald because Tom McDonald is at least a little bit more subtle in the way that he virtue signals to conservatives. And um, he also, I, I think lyrically speaking, is a little bit more talented. But this individual, like he's really, he's scraping the bottom of the barrel. He's like, okay, I see that conservatives were angry about Mr. Potato Head, Cat in the Hat. I'm going to include that. In my songs, it's only a matter of time before he makes a song or an anthem rather about critical race theory and how it teaches you to hate white people or some bullshit like that. Either way, I'm incredibly ecstatic that the Daily Wire put him on my radar. I will be following the musical career of Buddy Brown. And look, man, stay principled. Don't take any woke record label. Make sure that you read the fine details you have, you know. A lawyer, go over that contract with a fine-tooth comb because you don't want to find yourself in a situation where you sign a contract and then all of a sudden you are forced to transition from heterosexual to homosexual. That's possible. I mean, there's many contracts that force people into being woke. So make sure that you read the fine details, uh, you know, cross your T's, dot your I's, and uh, yeah, stay anti-woke, brother. Keep, uh, keep doing a good job complaining about being, or how hard it is to be white, I guess. Jesus Christ, folks, we live in the dumbest country on the planet. I mean, imagine unironically being conservative. Mega cringe. Mega fucking cringe. Hold up. Wet, 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 wet,